Changing or deleting photos on your Squarespace 7.1 website is a very simple process. And uh, this video is going to walk you through um, changing a photo as well as changing how it looks and also resizing the photo. So the first thing we're going to do is head over to our about page where we have a photo to work with. This video applies only to single photos and not to photo galleries. You can find those directions in a separate video. So in this case, this is the photo that I want to change. So I'm going to come up to edit in the top left-hand menu. And I'm going to hover over the image. I can see that it is an image block and I have the pencil here to change the photo. I do not want to use the trash can to remove the photo because it will remove the entire block and we want to use the same block. We just want to change what's inside of it. So I'm going to click the pencil to edit the photo and I get my photo menu here. Now I have three tabs. We're going to walk through each of the tabs. The first one is content, which is the photo itself. Now I can, in this case, delete the photo and you see that it kept my image block here. Now I can have two choices. I can upload an image from my computer. So if I already have chosen, edited the photo I want to add to my website, I would just choose the arrow and then go to my computer's window, um, in the finder window. I would choose the photo I want to add and then I would click open. Sometimes we need to use a stock photo. So in that case, I can click right here for search for image and Squarespace has a partnership with Unsplash, the stock photo site, where you can use any of the stock photos for free. You can't um, download the photos or use them in any other publications, but you can use them as many times as you would like on your own website. So in this case, let's say I wanted to use this palm tree. So I would just choose select and then add to site. And it is putting the photo in there for me. So it's a really great tool. We always want to name our images and make sure that those are descriptive names that will help us with Google, um, as well as help the readers of our site as well. So in this case, I could say palm tree at the legacy resort, if that was the name of my business. So we've got um, sort of a descriptive term for the photo itself, and then also our business name as well. Now, we know from our page that this is just a plain photo block. The photo is just displayed um, in the default fashion. But if I come over to design, I actually have six different options of how to style the same photo without changing the photo itself. For example, if I click on poster, this is going to give me the ability to add text in this box out of the way right over top of my photo. Um, the same thing we here, we have card, we have an overlap tool, a collage tool, and a stack tool. And you'll notice that you have some different options depending on which design that you choose. So in this case for overlap, um, I can choose whether I want the image on the left or the right. And then with my image link, I can link the actual photo or I can add a button for linking. So this really gives you a lot of options without changing the photo itself. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and check collage. I'm going to leave um, the image link as a button. And then my last tab is animations. And so I can animate my blocks. Um, a word of caution here, um, these are fine to use in moderation, but I do suggest that you use all of the same animations throughout your website for consistency. Now back over here on content, we notice that this is a very tall photo, which changes the shape of the box. And we can drag this focal point to different parts of the image to change um, the focal part of the image on the site as well. So that is a useful tool, especially with photos that contain faces. So in this case, I'm going to leave um, my palm tree photo there and choose apply. So I have deleted the original photo, I've added a new photo, and I have redesigned the photo to be a collage. Now, this photo is very large. It is the only thing in my section. So let's say we want to make the photo smaller. In this case, we're not able to resize the photo like we would in a traditional um, program. We, what we have to do is add space to each side of the photo um, and that will make our photo block smaller. So in this case, I'm going to go right here to the top of the image where I have my insertion bubble. 
I'm gonna click once and I'm gonna choose spacer and I'm gonna do that twice. And then I can use the hand tool to drag the spacer to the edge of my image. Then um, I can do the same thing on the other side and now I have a smaller image and I can play with my spacer blocks to resize that image. And this would also open up the possibility, let's say we could delete this spacer and over here we could then add a text box to the left of the photo. So by using the spacer blocks, we split this section into two pieces and then we can drag to resize the photo. So this video covered how to delete the current photo, how to add either a photo you own or a stock photo, how to redesign the look of the photo and animate it, and then how to resize the image. Are you looking for more resources to help your nonprofit grow its reach and impact? Unlock my free nonprofit resource library that includes exclusive workbooks, templates, and training videos to help you tell more people about the incredible work you are doing. Just go to 19design.net to get your access right now. Until then, keep making a great first impression online.